And I want to show you just a couple more things that are really super important to building this type of setup, one of which is this legato mode. So legato means slurred, but in Ableton language, it's a little bit different. What it means is if I enable these clips, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and solo this up so nothing else triggers. And I hit play. If I want to move to another clip by triggering a scene or triggering the clip, it's going to jump back to the beginning of this clip. And a lot of instances for things that are drones and long ambient passages, I don't want it to skip from being here to here. Uh, I don't want it to restart the clip over again. What I want it to do is just move to the next scene where it continues to play without being interrupted. And uh, I can do that by going down to my lunchbox and clicking legato on the clip that I want to move to. So if I trigger this, and now I move to the next clip, yeah, so I turn legato on for the first clip. And here's another thing. If you're going to be doing two different things to do different clips, it's a good idea to color them differently or name them differently. And let's actually turn that legato mode on. I'll get it right. <laughs> so you can see the playback position just continues where it left off on the previous clip. So you can set these up. You can turn the loops off so that when it gets to the end of the second one, it just stops. So if I go from this to this, seamless transition, and then when it gets to the end of this, it'll just stop. So that's something. The other thing, as I've done here with this particular clip, if I want to move to the next scene, it's not going to, I could have duplicated this clip and I could have made this legato, but there's really no need to because I don't, have a different set of kind of parameters assigned for the next clip. Instead, I just want it to continue playing. So if I want it to continue playing without stopping or triggering another clip, I can just remove the stop button. Uh, and I can do that by either command or control clicking with the E modifier, or I can just right click and choose remove stop button. So that way, if I play this and I trigger this particular scene, and then I decide I want to move to the next one. It's kind of a long, drawn out, atmospheric intro. But say that I want to bring in something that's a little more stimulating. This keeps playing. It doesn't stop, but then I can bring that in. And then I would do something here where maybe this gets filtered out.